Uh, we're gonna begin this hour with our series, The Dish, and someone who once jokingly called herself, I love this, quote, the original Spice Girl. <laughs> Why? Well, because when it comes to Indian food, no one has done more than Mata Joffrey to share it in America. She's the author of a million copy bestseller. It's called An Invitation to Indian Cooking, first published a half century ago. And now this iconic cookbook, which has never been out of print, is celebrating its 50th anniversary with a new edition out tomorrow and also a new introduction by the author. Joffrey is now 90 years old. She's got more than 30 books to her name, but this book is the one that started it all. She will never have a son. In the 1960s, Mater Joffrey was best known as an award-winning young actress. Let's give me something. But on a recent stroll through the vegetable garden outside her home in upstate New York... You can eat these. You can cook them. It was easy to see why food is now also her legacy. So this is green peppers. I'm waiting for them Ooh, to get red. Look at that. While Joffrey has slowed down a little in the kitchen after a 50-year career... We are making a, a wonderful lemony chicken. She's still willing to teach. I asked for two inches. And I think cumulatively that's about two inches. No. No? No. And in this case, the student was me, one of the countless Americans. Ooh, it's hot. Exposed to authentic Ooh. Indian cuisine because of her. We put all the other spices in. Turmeric, check. Coriander, check. Check. You were never intended to be a cookbook writer. I don't consider myself a cook of any sort. I consider myself an actress acting like a cook. Why then have you become so famous as a, as you put it, cooking person? I have no idea. I ask all the people who have made me so. Born in Delhi in 1933, she was in fact a foodie from the start. I love the taste of good food and the food was all cooked in our own family kitchen and was so delicious. And when she moved on to pursue acting at London's Royal Academy of Dramatic Arts... Is kissing someone? Huh? Who? She also realized how bad food could be. How was the food at the Royal Academy? Well, it was pathetic. So I started writing letters to my mother saying, please, please teach me how to cook. Her mother responded with simple recipes, all in Hindi and all leaving Joffrey to figure out the details, which she did maybe a little too well. In the introduction to an invitation to Indian cooking, you describe the whole book as a gradual move in self-defense. Yes, yes. <laughs> what did you mean by that? Because people were always saying, where can I get good Indian food? I said, my house, what else is there? And uh, then there were just a lot of people coming. Yeah. And so my way of holding them off was with, okay, I'm going to give you a book. Okay, here, you take this and make it yourself. Yeah, right. Stop asking. And... Yeah, stop asking. You can't come here anymore. Yeah. It's too much for me. Published by the same company that had just introduced America to Julia Child and the French. And you just paint it all over with melted butter. Joffrey's book did as much or more for Indian food. While we're holding the book, can we talk about the cover? <laughs> this does not look like uh, cooking clothes. No, no. This is what is called a temple sari. I would never cook in that, but for the picture, I thought, you know, let's do it. When the chicken has been cooked, it looks like this. And like Julia Child, Joffrey soon had her very own cooking show, following an audition that asked her to imagine the ingredients. So I said, oh, I'm putting some cumin seeds in the cast iron skillet now, and now I'm roasting them lightly. Mmm, that's smelling good. That is a mesmerizing performance, <laughs> you could tell. So the acting training came in very handy. So the acting, it was all handy. the acting training, yeah. and everything I did uses the acting training. Now I'm going to make a dish for you that... More shows followed, teaching all the Indian classics and so much more, from pork vindaloo to shahi korma to tandoori chicken. And she published dozens of additional cookbooks too. She laid so much fundamental groundwork for people to even be curious about Indian cooking. 
Priya Krishner is a food reporter for the New York Times and the best-selling author of multiple cookbooks, including Indianish. I really don't think my career would be possible without Mother. She sees people like me and so many others taking that and writing recipes that feel true to our identities as people who grew up in America, but in Indian households. And she really applauds that. Like, she really celebrates that. So just pour it evenly around on top. Back in Joffrey's kitchen... Pour it on the in-between. When the chicken is done, so she shows me how to same. plate it. Yes. And in between the bites, a little moment of gratitude. Mm. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> good. That, that is perfect. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> on behalf of, at this point, millions and millions of happy home cooks... Uh, yes. ...and the people who ate the food, thank you. You're welcome. Oh, oh, that was, that was sweet. sweet. It makes so, me genuinely emotional. I mean, when you write a book that has sold more than a million copies and it's teaching people how to feed their families, it, you really are changing lives and bringing people together. I think it's such a life and such a beautiful way to live. But well, normally, she, but in addition, she's gorgeous. I love that yeah, yeah. she was an actress, that you showed us that, that you showed it her. I had never heard of her before, but, you know, I don't cook, so you don't I'm not cook, familiar no. with the cook world. But, I mean, she just seems so delightful. She is, yeah. She's got a great sense of humor. And she considers the acting to kind of be the whole life, right? She yeah. never intended to be a cook. Uh, and she's been acting as one as she sees it, you know? And doesn't she look great she looks at fantastic. 90? Whoa, she, looks she looks fantastic. Looks you mentioned the food and feeding families. It's also introducing people to a culture, culture yep. that they might not know yeah. it's otherwise. hard not to it's hard to imagine but new york city did not have good indian food that you could just go out and buy at that time 50 years ago she really did introduce it to this country and she says to this day actually though don't go to a restaurant there are good ones but for real genuine great indian food it's got to be a home cook it's got to be someone reading a book like that mm. but tony can also cook as he can, can Nate. He can yeah. cook it. i can tony can good. cook his yeah. butt off i yeah. can cook a little bit a little bit <laughs> yeah. uh the 50th anniversary edition of an invitation to indian cooking is out right now it's got simple very doable recipes pick one up